Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today we are going to be going over the Destiny 2 Warlock Solar 3.0 build. I have two Hunter builds and one Titan build already up on the channel. If you guys like to see that, click the top icon in the top right. That'll take you to my most recent build, which is the Hunter build. But today we're going to be focusing on the Warlock. Before we get into this build, if you guys could hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying this content and these builds have been helping you guys out. It lets me know that you guys are getting helped out. And if there's anything that you guys want to see me try or talk about in a future video, leave it down in the comments below. If you guys are looking for a nice energy drink to keep you active and focused on your games while you're gaming, I've got the drinks for you. Head on over to www.w.gg to get your own awesome energy drinks. W's got zero sugar, no artificial colors or dyes, no hidden ingredients, it's gluten free. All of the flavors are unique and custom made by W themselves, so you'll never taste the same thing in other brands. And if you price out the drinks, each drink comes out to about $1 a drink or less compared to anything like you go to Starbucks or Dunkin' or you buy a Monster, anything of the sort, that's gonna cost you three to $5. This is a dollar a drink made right here in the US. So like I said, head on over to www.w.gg to get your own drinks and use code Z space destiny for a 10% off coupon at checkout. Now let's get to the video. Now, this build was brought to my attention by a couple of my buddies and it's also, I believe, uh, created by Plunder the Booty again. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that is the creator of this build. If it is not, let me know and I will put the correct link, but I'm going to be linking Plunder the Booty in the description below because that is who my friends suggested this build from. Now, to get into the build, what you're going to be running is Phoenix Dive, I prefer Burst Glide, Celestial Fire, Healing Grenade. For your aspects, Touch of Flame, your healing, solar, firebolt, and fusion grenades have enhanced functionality. That's the only trait that we're really going to be focusing on. The other ones you can go through and read as well. But for us, we're going to be focusing on our healing grenade, which improves the strength and cure and restoration effects applied. Next, you're going to want heat rises. You can fire weapons, melee, and throw grenades while gliding, which is perfect because you can hold Q or whatever your grenade button is to consume your grenade and then start using your heat rises which allows you to stay above the enemies and you can also shoot and throw your grenades and melees while still floating and it doesn't cancel out also final blows while airborne increase the duration of heat rises and grant melee energy so we can constantly be using our celestial fire down here for our fragments we're going to want ember of empyrean solar weapon or ability final blows extend the duration of restoration and radiant effects applied to you Ember of Solace, Radiant and Restoration effects applied to you have increased duration. Ember of Searing, Defeating Scorched Targets grant melee energy. Ember of Torches, Powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant. And then we're going to move on to the Armor Mods. For this build, you don't need any sort of particular exotic armor piece. I followed what they were using with the Karenstein Armlets. But even in the build, you do not have to use any exotic at all. But I feel that this is just better because with the Celestial Fire, getting melee kills restores your health for a short time, so you can constantly be regenerating your health based off of just melee kills. As far as weapons go, you don't have to use anything in particular. You can use things that apply Scorch, like things like Jotun with the Catalyst, if you would prefer. I am going to be sticking with a Fusion Rifle in my primary the Sunshot, and a Linear Fusion Rifle, and my Heavy, and if you're doing the dungeon specifically, you're going to be switching your things out often, like I switch to Ariana's Vow pretty often for my build, and I also use Wither Horde. And that's pretty much the only two things that I really swap with while I'm doing the dungeon at different parts. Now getting into the armor mods. On the helmet here, I have Harmonic Siphon. Rapid weapon final blows with damage matching your subclass energy type create an orb of power, hence why I'm using Sunshot, Unquenchable Thirst, increases the buff effects of the 2 excess origin trait and the healing effect of the soul drinker origin trait. Down here on my gauntlets, I have Momentum Transfer, causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown. Fastball, increases grenade throw distance. Down here on the chest, I have Concussive Dampener, reduces incoming AoE or area of effect damage from combatants. 
Armor of the Dying Star reduces incoming solar and void damage from combatants. Well of Ordnance. Picking up a solar elemental well grants you additional grenade energy. Multiple copies of this mod increase this effect. Down here on the boots, I have Innervation, stacked twice, and Font of Might. Picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type grants a temporary bonus to weapon damage of that same elemental type, which would be giving this bonus damage again to Sunshot. And then finally down here on the bond, I have Well of Life. Picking up a solar elemental well grants increased regeneration for a short period of time. And I forgot to mention as well up here, that was my mistake, you're going to want Melee Wellmaker. Powerful melee combatant final blows spawn elemental wells matching your subclass energy type. And that is essentially all that you're going to need for this build. If you guys have any other questions, comment down below. You could also check out the guide from Plunder the Booty, which is going to be down in the description below. If you guys have any other builds that you suggest that I do a review on or make a video about, let me know down in the comments below. I will give it a look. If you also send a dim or a Destiny Item Manager link with the build, I can put it exactly how you have it with the same mods and everything and go based off what you got. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy and this build helps you out, leave a like down below, comment anything that you guys want to see, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.